Hey friend, in this video, we are going to be painting jellies. Jellyfishes. Uh, what is it called? A smack. A smack of jellyfish is what it's called technically. Um, we're gonna be painting the background in watercolor, adding some alcohol drops for the tops of the jellyfish blobs, and then gouache, light pink gouache and white gouache, and it is just so fun and different. I wanted to start mixing in some different things for you guys to keep things fun, exciting, you know, keep the flame alive. So if you're ready, let's do this. All right, you guys, we're gonna get real funky in this tutorial, Choose using a few random tools that I don't normally use. We've got alcohol, we've got a little dropper. We also have this set of gouache that I've used one time that I'm gonna show you some of the colors uh, from it in this video. I got it off Amazon, we'll make sure to link to it. Loving gouache lately, especially for adding detail. So we're gonna paint, paint some jellies. And this is just reminds me of the scene in Finding Nemo, right before the turtle scene. And I love the turtle scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm grabbing my biggest brush, size 16. You can use a bigger one if you want. And I'm gonna cover my sheet of paper with the water color <laughs> um, and maybe leave some section up here that's a bit lighter, like it's close to the surface of the water and maybe the sun is right there hitting the water. I'm not sure. We're gonna just start with, start with a light blue situation wash on our paper. And we're gonna work really fast with lots of water to cover our paper quickly. And then from there, I am going to add in darker pigment. I want the blue contrast of the water to be really uh, dark against the brighter jellyfish. So we're gonna get really bright blue, dark blue uh, once we add in this water. And come about halfway down my paper and that is where I am going to grab my pigment. So this looks to be, whoops, the, like a really bright um, cobalt blue with a touch of Prussian blue. I'm just gonna swipe the edge. Getting a little, off of my painting. Shoo. Get out of here. <laughs> Ugh, so rude. Now he's buzzing around my face. All the way up. Now let's go Prussian blue, basically all the way down for our little gradient. Because we're working wet and wet, this contrast is going to blend. I can even tilt my paper a little bit and let it drag and pull the pigment down into the lighter area. Maybe sprinkle some water. But I wanna work quickly because we are going to add in the alcohol drops for our jellies little bulbies. I want it to be darker. Maybe some Mars black and Prussian blue to get more in the depths of the sea. Working it in and up and down. It is a different color than my reference photo, obviously, and that's fine. 
If you want it to be closer to this blue, maybe use ultramarine blue or just cobalt. As long as it looks like water. <clears throat> and then from here, while this is all still very wet, grab my dropper. We'll link to one that we use from Amazon. Grab some alcohol and go ahead and drop. Look at that jelly. So we're just gonna have jellies kind of floating. So cool. Back on this one. It's kind of like just erasing the pigment for me so that I can then go on top of it and add my jellies. Starting to dry, so I'm gonna come over here on the other side and maybe just add one or two. I want this to be the highest moment, maybe lower down here. I just had a thought, John. What if I did alcohol for the some of the tentacles? Just little touches of alcohol strings. I'm going to go back over it with gouache for more of the detail, but I don't know. Just had a thought. Not as fun as I thought it would be, but okay. Leaving it to the gouache. Okay, now we need to wait for this to dry and we're going to layer on top with a gouache. I'm going to do a really light pink gouache like this. You don't want to do any more in the middle of it. John wants me to do more. Blah. Now we wait to dry. Alrighty, so this is dry. I'm gonna bust out my gouache. Okie dokie. And we're gonna use white and this like rosy color. It's kind of pink. I'm gonna mix a lot of white with just a touch of pink. Great thing about gouache is if you don't use some of the paint, like if you squeeze out too much and don't use some of it, it's a thicker, more opaque version of watercolor so you can just re-wet it when it's dry and still use it. It's not gonna be the thick consistency, but it's still opaque, even though obviously you're trying not to add tons of water to re-wet it to keep it less transparent. But that's why I love the gouache at the moment. So I'm gonna, a lot of these alcohol blurbs because they're circles remind me of the tops of jellies. And I wanna leave in like any sort of ring detail that came about naturally from the alcohol. I'm just gonna mix a really light pink. I'm gonna use some just white by itself, some pink, and maybe go in and add in circle bits to the tops. Like so. And some thick, barely there. ring situation around the top of the jelly. And it's kind of like we're adding detail to a flower. 
We're following the curve. Maybe add in some blue. Just white lines. and accentuate that ring here and there. It's like floating flowers. You can add in little strands. But I'm gonna do the other ones first. So again, up here, boing, 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 as Dory would say. Ooh, I like that. A thick line and a thin line. That's real fun. And moving right along. So I'm going in between pressure and release of pressure to get these thick and thick, thick and thin strokes. And then just thin for a little accent. This one looks like it's kind of pointing down to me. So, and I'm, and there's some bra uh, black pigment collecting around the edge. So I'm gonna not go on top of that and just go right outside of it to accent. Group of jellyfish is called? Trivia question. Um, the jelly clan. That is exactly correct. What? It's called a smack. A smack. A smack of jellyfish. That's cute. Jellies are cute. I've been stung by so many jellyfish in my day. Ouch. And you just gotta pee on it. Weird. So they say. Not sure if that's actually backed by science or if the 15 year old teenage lifeguard who was telling me was just like, I mean, everyone knows that though. Yeah, universal. It's a universal pee on moment. Here's a gel. Little jelly huggers walking through the ocean. Jelly huggers? <laughs> They're hugging. These ones are hugging. Oh. Just confused. Smacking through the forest. Catching a bunch of human ankles and peeing on the stings. Copyrighted. The hit. Are these jellies perfect depictions of jellies? No. 
Am I having fun? Yes. Do they look like they're supposed to be jellies? Yes. And I believe we can call it a jelly fine day. And there you go, little floating jellies, a floating smack of jellies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. This was a fun, like just playing painting for me. And I hope that it was the same for you and you were able to just turn off the chatter, turn off the noise and let the brush have fun, let yourself have fun and just play. Uh, it's good to do that every once in a while. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you love this channel and you'd like to be a supporter or you'd like to enjoy some ad free content, then hop on over to my Patreon where we have four different tiers for you to choose from with all different incentives and fun little bits and tidbits things. Uh, so make sure you check that out. We'll link it below. And as always, thank you so much for watching our videos and I'll see you in the next one.